Southwest Florida, welcome back to one of the great education institutions in all of Lee County is New Life Academy. It's a Christian-based, full-service school from third grade to 12, 12, thir three years old to the 12th grade. It's an oasis in our community, and a lot of people are learning about it now. Uh, they have been really successful, established in 2013 right here on Edgewood Boulevard off of Palm Beach. Again, that's New Life Academy, a Christian-based school. We have some parent, we have a parent here, and we have a student here. I will say at the outset that this is not her daughter, but <laughs> it's a family affair. So let's get to meet uh, the parent. What's your full name? La Chiquita Purchase. And your student is whom, and what grade, and so on and so forth. Patrick Ford. He's in fifth grade. And tell us why you found that this school was the best place for your child to get his education the main thing was the christian base and patrick was just having a hard time struggling with um, public school and i wanted more of a private base for him um, more of a one-on-one -on -one with his teacher and just so happened we were at the easter parade and um, they were handing out the flyers on the floats and i got the flyer called the number and found out about New Life Academy, and it's been a change in my whole family. And Patrick loves it. Best thing that happened to you. The best thing that's happened to yeah, us. As a, as a parent, and I'm a parent, one of the things we're always concerned about is, please, let's make sure my child doesn't get lost in the early education system. When, you, when your student is here at New Life Christian Academy, compared to where he was, you get that feeling right now, hey, I'm, I finally got him in a place that I know he's going to have a fair chance in life? Yes. Um, Patrick was struggling um, academically um, bad. When we were in public school, um, it's like he just couldn't seem to get it. And since we've been here um, recently, um, his last support card was all A's and one B. And Patrick's in fifth grade, and he's never made down a roll. Never. What does that do for his self-esteem walking around the house now knowing he's on a student? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he's the man now. <laughs> yes, he loves it. He um, enjoys coming to school. And before, mm. I wake Patrick up in the mornings, and it's like a struggle to get him out the door to go to school. And now he's up, ready, pushing me to get out the door to make sure he get to school on time. And I haven't seen that, and it's been a blessing. I'll be coming back to you, but before I leave you, I want to hit on one point I heard you mention. You mentioned he gets attention. Elaborate on that compared to the big public school where and, and, and so on, overcrowded and all of that. Uh, right now, his ratio, um, I want to say Ms. J has about 90 students to one teacher. Um, nine. Nine, not 99, right? Nine <laughs> students. Versus um, when he was in public school, you had at least 22 to 23 kids to one teacher. And um, that was another thing Patrick was struggling with. So even now, if he needs to get one-on-one, -on -one, if he needs to go to his teacher for any questions, there's never a problem. You guys hear that? Man, um, I want that passive. Some kind of way you can hold that phone number up for me. Uh, I want to be able to call that out a few times during this interview. <laughs> Uh, now, you are a um, student here. Your mother, uh, your teacher, uh, uh, your principal talked about how you didn't want to come here. Now you're mm -hmm. a senior. Tell us, tell me about um, how you ended up here and what was it like when you, when you, how you, you know, I understand you didn't want to be here and now how it's changed your life. All right. Well, I first started eighth grade. I was, one of the, I was the first eighth grade graduate. And you're 12th grader now. Yes. Great. So I've been, here a, a, I've been here a while. But at first, I didn't really see the vision my mom saw for me. Mm -hmm. So it started off as, oh, she doesn't understand. Like, I have to stay with my friends. Like, I don't, I don't want to be familiar. Like, I wasn't familiar with change at all. I didn't like it. Wasn't accustomed to it. I didn't really, it, wasn't, it didn't go well with me at all. So... At first, it was rough. I didn't smile. I didn't talk for weeks. Like, the first few weeks was horrible for me. But then I opened my mind a little bit, and I got started speaking with, like, the other students. I started mm -hmm. excelling more. Like, and I realized it's actually helping me. Mm -hmm. And that's when it clicked. Like, she was looking out for the future of me. Because I didn't see the vision she saw. I didn't want to see the vision she saw. I was rebellion. Like, my mind just blocked out mm -hmm. everything she was saying. I didn't want to see it at all. And now but you're now a senior. Let's get your full name. Yes, my name is Tajaria Carroll. I'm a senior, and Ms. Johnson, the principal, is my teacher. 
And uh, just for people to know, the phone number here is 239-645-8122. That's a phone number you want to know. You just heard the mom talked about she got the flyer at the Easter parade, changed her, her son's life. He's now an honor student, was getting lost in a big crowded school system. This is the phone number you need to know, 239-645-8122. I'm also going to encourage you guys to go ahead and get fancy with me and put that website on there. We're going to, we got plenty of time. Uh, we're going to continue with the parent and the student. I want to come back to you because when I first came in here today, I could tell that you were engaged in those computers. You were excited about academics. Uh, this school has good equipment and good everything for you to work on, right? Tell me some things that's going on on these computers in the background. Yes, yeah, so as you, right now, the kids are on IXL, which is a website that, like, it works individually on the, like, the gaps that they have, like, as she was saying earlier. So, like, it goes to a specific topic or a tab that they need to work on. They can go straight to it, and it helps develop that. So when they go to the pace books, it also, like, helps them progress on whatever level they are on. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's your favorite subject here? What, what do you like? Uh, you can say all the subjects, but what's your favorite? My favorite subject is math. And right really? now, I'm also in trigonometry myself. Trig! Uh, Woo! <laughs> trig, girl. You know, I took trig, too, now. I might drop some stuff on you. <laughs> Let me see what I remember. I remember this. In, in a plane, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the alternate interior angles are congruent. That might be uh, geometry, but that's the only thing I remember <laughs> about that class. But that sounds smart, don't it? In a plane. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the alternate interior angles are the same. That's all I know, but I sound smart. <laughs> you know that major that you have, math? I mean, not, not that you're majoring in math yet, but I love a math. Your career is going to soar. That is what the world is built on, science and math. You've already heard that. What's your long-term goal? My long-term goal actually is to become a physical therapist okay. and a psychiatrist. And that math is going to come in handy. Uh, you a senior now? Have yes, you already sir. started applying to colleges or what have we? I have not started applying come yet. Come on. Right, I know. But I do have like a few choices in mind, such as like FAMU or FAU, something like in the area. Great. You're going to be a role model. Now, when you hear her and you see how well she's doing, you got your son in at an earlier age than she came into the system. That bodes for even uh, a bright future. Does it make you feel good when you see students like this? Yes, yes, it makes me happy. And um, even now, Patrick has um, exceeded. Um, he actually came home last night with the um, new book, and he was stating that um, his teacher said he's ready for the next level. Mm -hmm. And that alone just made me happy. <laughs> now, this school is Christian based, uh, Christian, Christianity is the foundation, the curriculum doesn't shy away from that prayer in the school all of that how does that uh how do you feel about that whole structure um i love it um i grew up christian so that is one thing um i definitely wanted for patrick but um in the community um uh, like i say i was searching searching um i couldn't find that structure until i went to the easter parade and got the flyers so i felt like that that was god telling me then I called met with um, Mrs. Johnson and Patrick's been here since August and he loves it he comes home um, excited about learning about the Bible and um, he's shocked there there's even um, Christian rap music <laughs> so he's into the Christian rap music now and he even gets on to me now as far as mom you know God doesn't like so now I have to make sure I'm um, continuing to be that role model mm. for him. If not, he's going to come home and put the scriptures on me. Now, this is a private school. When people hear the word private, they go, you got to be rich to go to that school. Explain that you don't have to be rich. Yes, um, that's another um, lovely thing about the school. Um, they do accept the scholarship. Um, Patrick does have the Step Up Scholarship. Um, it's income-based. Um, it doesn't cost anything to apply. You can just go to the website, um, apply for the school. Um, if you have any questions, you can always call, um, go to the website, and um, the teacher or Mrs. Johnson will walk you through it if you need help. But it does make it affordable. So don't get scared because it is a private school. There are options out there. Outstanding. Uh, that's uh, New Life Academy ftmyers.org new life academy ftmyers.org you can also go to leepitslive.com tab down to our partners you'll see that logo the website is right there just click on it and all the information is right there let's come back over to you we were talking about 
Christian based. Uh, you know, kids to be trying not to pray and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> but you went to a public school where you didn't have prayer uh, at the outset, and now you have prayer in the school. You have chapel. How how have you received that, and how are your your peers, your your friends? Do they look forward to it? Do they have any problems with that? No. So I always had a Christian faith. Like I've always had my own relationship with God, even before coming here. So that was a plus, but my friends know it as well. So it's not like, oh, you live in like the double life as if I go to private school, then when I'm out of private school, it's like, it's a whole nother person. So no, they know I'm in church. They know like my relationship with God. They know I love God. So I'm not going to just do anything. So peer pressure, none of that. It's none of that. It doesn't work with me. What's this you're wearing around your neck? I saw a bunch of students with those on today. You seem pretty excited about it too. <laughs> go ahead. Yes, this is the national, this week was National School Choice Week. So you'll see every, all of the students have the scarf around their neck as well. And it's just participation. Mm -hmm. Do, um, um, when you wear your t-shirt or when you wear your uniform in the mall or people bump into you with your uniform on, other students who are wearing, you know, regular everyday school clothes, do they ask you questions like where, where is that and how, how do you, how does that feel? Yes, I get that a lot, especially because I, before I did, go to Dunbar my freshman year. So a lot of people knew me, so they, they wonder, oh, where did you go, where did you go? So I get that question a lot, and I always tell them, like, it's right next to Edgeway Avenue. And they're like, oh, okay, that's cool. I have to take it out. Like well, you see in the school grow and grow and grow to it, isn't that cool? Yes. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, you, I think your son came here this year, right? So the growth was, uh, uh, is, uh, you, you, Pastor talked about, and, and First Lady talked about, they started off, I think, with nine students, and to see now that they, the school is this, progressive uh what does that say about the future i can't wait to see what's in store next um so far it's on the up and up um patrick's ready and um lord's willing he would be here until he graduate mm -hmm. i assume you have a graduation ceremony here where you do the cap and gown thing uh yours is coming up uh after uh, this spring right okay Me. uh you already got sized up for you took your pictures yet and all of that yes i actually just took my graduation really? pictures yesterday so that was really exciting pretty cool now uh, yeah. uh you did you see a graduation in the past yet have you seen your one before you graduate not so besides you, my eighth grade graduation you know, i was going to ask you what you <laughs> thought about the ceremony i think pastor you were preaching at this thing do a thing there okay so the parents can come out for that you'll learn more about that let's uh let's sort of go to the next thing tell me about a typical day a typical day for a senior or a student here. You come in, you do what? You get breakfast here, you get lunch, uh, and walk me through the day and you've gone home by, what, 3 o'clock? Go ahead. Yes. So usually, like, once we arrive around 7.15, 7.30, it's breakfast. And we're in there until about 8.15-ish, 8.30, and then we then transition to the classrooms. And once you're in your classroom, you first start off with prayer. So everybody, you unpack, put your bag, put your things away, bags up. Then you pray, then we do our American flag, Christian flag, then the Bible. And all of those are pledges, so that's pretty cool. Then right, th right after that, you go straight into devotion. Okay, sounds like a complete day. You, you see your son, uh, you say your son has totally changed since he came to the school. What are some things you're seeing in school and at home? Um, behavior is one, um, and also his confidence. As far as, because um, that's one thing Patrick struggled with in public school. Um, we came from um, the Bonita Springs area. So he dealt with a lot of racism. And um, that's one thing I have been seeing um, growing in him that he's getting confident in being a black male. Okay. Final point New Life Academy, ftmyers.org. That is the key website you want to go to. That is where you can change lives. That is where you can have the brightness on your face and the excitement like this your, this student, the confidence and excitement by this parent knowing that their child is getting a proper education here in Fort Myers. We're fortunate to have this type of school in Fort Myers. Say something to the parents, final comments to the parents who are out there right now. Get them up off that couch, Make that go to that website. Yes, don't give up on your kids. If you're struggling with public schools, there are options out there. Before you sign the line and just agree with anything, just try it, try it. Call, um, go to the website. Like I said, it's nothing to even um, apply for the scholarship. Just go ahead and apply for the scholarship. That could be your first step. Okay. And uh, even if you're not struggling in public school, this is a better school. Yes. 
Okay? So don't wait. If you got a decent student now, make them a great student. Okay? You don't have to be, if you want that good Christian based education, value system, change how your child is, change our community, we got to start with the spirituality. It's been taken out of the school. I know you guys have watched my show for many years, and I never go into this whole. A personal thing about spirituality but it's a strong base to start from I started from a spiritual base in the house and in the church and I know that that had a lot to do with where I am in life right now I'm not saying I'm all of that but I know that it's a strong foundation and if I look back at my friends growing up the ones who had that kind of solid foundation and stayed with it and had people who cared about them genuinely cared about them they turned out well in life don't just leave it up to chance and put your kids anywhere and then hope they're going to work out on on the back end now that i did my little sermon what do you think about what i just said as it applies to you yes i totally agree so yeah go ahead okay so basically like I just feel like exactly what you said, like change is necessary, it's going to be uncomfortable, but it's necessary to grow. And if you can't see a bigger vision for yourself, there won't be one. There you go. I just feel like Again, New Life Academy, FortMyers.org. You're not used to seeing Lee Pitts Live at a school doing a show. This is special. This is the second time I've ever gone out to a school. I came out to Lee Charter Academy five, six, seven years ago, and I did a show in this school, so I'm familiar with this school. Good stuff has always come out of this place, but this time, it's going to continue to grow, 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 because I got faith in the leadership here. Bishop Eric Johnson, First Lady Denise Johnson, who's the principal, they can't fail. I'm just telling you, they can't fail. You heard their story, and they made it happen. Now it's up to us to continue to support it. Spread the word. Spread the word. We'll, we'll see you.